Never stop asking. Stop asking what? Uh, I would say st never stop asking the right questions. The right questions in terms of where's the world heading, where's business heading. Is never stop asking a question? Never stop asking is, um, uh, it can be a question or, or a motto or what, what you like. There are some other mottos the school has. Yeah. Uh, think differently, act differently, uh, act differently, see differently. Yeah. W what about that? So, so, so on the one hand, mottos is, is something can be helpful to some, but it's much more important. It's really what, what kind of value added the school has for, to you as a student. And there I think Tilburg uh, and Tios Nimbos have a lot to offer. If we never stop asking, when we get annoying? Sorry. Well, I'll just keep asking, asking questions, yeah. but we never get anywhere. Yeah. So, so, so uh, and that, that's why I, I sometimes feel a bit hesitant about, uh, about mottos, because I really think it's, you should explain mottos are fine for, for uh, as, a, as a kind of for, for, for cons conversational purposes, but it's really, it's really about the content and about where you want to be as, as a business, as a student, but also uh, as, a, as, a, as a country. So what, what motto or what um, kernel would you say is very important to the TS Nimbus identity? So, so what I really very much feel, and, and that's also where we are connected, because we really feel is that we have to be connected to, to, what, to history, but also to the future. And our history tells us that it's really our history is about creating shared values. For who? For, for both, for personally, first of all, for the student, but also uh, our story is that first of all you have to be, it's, it's about business uh, with a purpose. It's so it's primarily with, about business. Uh, so uh, making excellent business, making excellent leaders, but also the, the, the value added is, is creating uh, and uh, making an, an education where you really um, uh, connect to other parts of society, to other themes of society, because also because it's, it's necessary. This time really tells us that there are big challenges ahead. There, there's poverty around, there are new challenges around, there, there's climate change around, and all these things will affect us. And our, 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 our philosophy is that you really have to connect to all those big challenges and incorporate them as, as a person because you're, you're going to make very big, uh, uh, you're, you're going to grow as a person, but also your company is going to grow. And I'd like to, to, uh, to give the example of Unilever. One second. What, what, my purpose is to get an MBA and yeah. to make some money. Yeah. What about, I'm not sure all this other stuff is relevant. Yeah, so, so that, that I can fully understand. But what I'm, what I'm saying is that uh, you're also part of history and your part of history is that, that the methods of the past just didn't work. So just doing it as, as, as business as usual is not going to work in the next 20 years. So what I'm saying is... Some people got very rich. Some, yeah, but that's old fashioned. That's old fashioned in terms of... So, so what we're going to tell you and offer to you is that you really have to make the best of all uh, content that we can offer. That means top class finance, top class, uh, class accounting, top class marketing, top class leadership that you all need. But on the other hand, you need a plus. And the plus is that you also have to think of the environment of the big challenges that are ahead. And what we offer is an open mind to see those challenges and to incorporate them. I mean, an opportunity of the environment could be cutting down the forest and selling paper. Yeah. So, uh, but, but what, what is this value added of, of the environment? Or so, so what I'm I really saying is that, uh, and there I'd like to give you the example of Unilever again. Unilever has said, well, on the one hand, we're going to go for shareholder value. So we're going to make big profits for our, for our shareholders. And that's one part of the, of, the, of the story. The second is that they say, well, we'll incorporate, we'll, we want to be part of, of uh, uh, improving hygiene for, for, say, a billion people in the world. We want to have much better access to all kinds of education. And what they start doing is they start build, making small teams in, of, of uh, uneducated uh, uh, female laborers in Africa and India and where they see the biggest growth right now of their, of their operations is in India and Africa. So what I'm saying, there's so many big challenges ahead. So first of all, you should get a, get a great MBA and great MBA means content wise, it should be something which is, is, is really, really very good in terms of traditional courses. But on the other hand, this time really requires for something different. In and the Unilever example, it sounds like uh, using uneducated cheap labor yeah. in the developing world. But everything is a question of balance, so, so you should, should balance things. So, of course, you should be uh, 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 making sure that, th that these kind of things don't happen, but on the other hand, you also uh, you see, you see the opportunities for uh, helping 
uh, uneducated female laborers to improve themselves, to get to better places, to get a get a get a wage, etc., etc. Specifically, how does uh, the TS Nimbus MBA do that? Yeah. How how do you address that difference, that that extra quality needed? Yes. So so by uh, by uh, in terms of leadership, talking about the kind of issues that that are that are are around, but also in terms of strategy, we we really think is that we are living in such a rapidly changing environment that you really need to see how businesses is being redefined again. And what we are saying in the old fashioned way, you're not going to make it in the next 20 years. Make what? A, 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 a successful uh, career in terms of, of, uh, of career wise as, as, as a student, as, a, as a, uh, making a lot of, because all of the companies are are facing very very big challenges. So it's globalization, internet, social media. Uh, there's a very big challenges. No, I mean I think a lot of people watching would would agree yeah. with, with that description of the challenges. Yeah. Is there something specific? Is there one particular course or one elective on the MBA that really addresses that? No, there's not not one a particular course uh, who really addresses that. But it's it's in every. It's so we really we, you can if you f come from this uh, MBA you're really top notch in terms of knowledge of finance, current days finance, accounting, marketing, strategy, but also you have that extra plus you have that X factor which really can makes you see the, the say the immediate and the, and the long run. But does the X factor come when you recruit? students for the course or you teach the X Factor? We, we teach the X Factor but we also look whether are, uh, they are uh, they're open to it and, and whether they are uh, able to really make a big step. And how do you know? So in, 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 or in terms of uh, having high uh, uh, a lot of talks in terms of uh, with them when they, when they apply but also in terms of GMAT scores we look at we really go for high quality uh, people but along the way. But a GMAT school can't tell you if I have the X factor right? No but, but that's why we don't only uh, go for the, for the GMAT we also look at, at, at what we know from, from people from their environment we look at for, for people around them we look at people from uh, uh, we, we talk to them a lot of course and it's really one of their one of our big parts of our, our assessments. The course structure, you have a five-stage model. Yeah. Uh, connecting, leading, enhancing, engaging. Yeah. Can we mix it up a bit? I prefer to sometimes connect and then engage, or engage and then yeah. connect. And for us, it's, it's very much an, an, an part of a logical structure that we have in our... So you, first of all, you really have to understand. And you just... So going somewhere or, or uh, interacting somewhere without really understanding, and understanding is really having the basic tools at your hands, and basic tools means uh, can you do, for instance, in, uh, in terms of finance, can you do the proper valuations? Do you know how to, uh, to evaluate uh, uh, financial projects? Wait a minute, if, if, but if I'm not very good at mathematics, yeah. am I going to get the understanding bit? Uh, so, we get, so, first of all, one of the things that, that, that we definitely need is, is that we a, a kind of formal mathematical training is, is, it helps a lot in doing the MBA here. That's really crucial. But uh, and I see there's two compulsory accounting courses yeah. at the start of the course. Yeah. I'm just I'm nervous that my maths is not up to it. Yeah. And I want to get to that X factor and all this interesting stuff about sustainability. Yeah. But my math is no good. Yeah. What What do we do? So first of all, of course, uh, you should at least have the the, the, the motive and, and the incentive to really do it to 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 learn the mathematics. Uh, we can help you quite a bit because we, we, we are one of the things that TS Nimbus has and, and which is a clear advantage to my view is that they have an, um, uh, a, a, a pretty far in terms of blended learning, they're not pretty far, they're really very far in blended learning. That means that on the internet you can get all sort of courses which helps you, so, so it helps you in, in, in learning more about mathematics so that we can have an offer. We're willing to, to help somebody who has, doesn't have the, all the expertise in mathematics. But at the end of the day, of course, you have to have sufficient uh, in order to, to, to proceed. Uh, you have an elective called management control. Yeah. Is this how I manage my boss? So, so it, it's it's not about about uh, managing your boss. It's really about seeing, uh, knowing the value of of uh, of numbers, seeing what's really important within for management as as generally. So it it gives you a much brighter tool to think about management. Once I got my boss a bottle of wine, yeah, 
and he was much nicer to me. Yeah. Is that relevant to this course? No, not at all relevant. So, no. And cross-cultural psychology. Yeah. Is that is that something very serious? Yeah. This course is it a serious elective? Yeah. yeah. That that that's really very very uh, a serious thing because we really believe that in addition to all the hard work, all to the, the solid uh, courses, we believe that the world is, needs cross-cultural understanding, thinking. So it's it's very very different. So in the next five to ten years. Uh, Asia uh, uh, and, and Latin America will shape our current economies in the Western world too quite a bit and everybody will, sh will be influenced by it and understanding how those people do business how, how things are developing there is crucial to a successful business career. Is there something T.S. Nimbus is doing with Latin America or China yeah. that's going to be impactful on my course? Yeah, so, so uh, we have a, a lot of uh, uh, exchanges with, uh, uh, with with China for long, t or for more than 25 years, and we have an operations in Beijing. We have an operation in Taipei, so the school has an operation there and, and in, in in Beijing. And also important is that we started an operation in Shanghai, so we are present in three big Chinese cities. Can I go there? Sure, we'll have uh, as part of the MBA, we'll have excellent opportunities for you to go there. And is there, I mean, could there be a semester there, or is it a two-week it's, trip? Uh, it's it's much. It's going to be likely a two-way, a two a two-week trip. Yeah. And will I meet students when I'm studying here from those emerging markets? Yeah. So, so our, our classes are very international. So we are, uh, uh, I think, on average, it would be ten percent would be Dutch, and the vast majority is international. And uh, there's a big chunk of Asian and uh, Latin American students. And do they do they integrate well, or do they stay in their own little groups, so that all the Chinese are together and all the Brazilians no, no, are together? No, so, so because our our natural groups are uh, uh, somewhere somewhere between fifty and sixty people, group size, and and their interaction is 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 all around. Personal development. The the course puts a lot of emphasis on yeah. my personal development. Yeah. How exactly do you measure that? So, so how we measure that personal development is that we put really design it as as, a, as an important element of our MBA, and uh, we really think because an MBA is really a period in time when you first of all you invest a lot of money in your future career, Absolutely. and you really want value for your money, and it also means so on the one hand it means learning and 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 educating a lot of uh, hard and solid courses that you have to uh, uh, to d digest as future student, but also you have to think about where do I want to make a next step in my career and where am I and where do I come from and, and what step do I want to make and, and we help you in, in making that big step by looking not only at your current uh, uh, education but look at your whole your, your qualities your professional qualities your, your able to promote yourself or not so we really have to in addition to really training the hard skills that we do here we really have a lot of emphasis also on the soft skills. So we, in the process, we help uh, uh, we help students getting that, and that's by making all sort of programs where we where we train people in terms of psychology, promotional activities. So that that's that's part of the professional program. How do I know if I'm succeeding in the soft skills? Mm -hmm. I can get my grades on the on the finance and the accounting. Yeah. How do I know my soft skills are getting better? First of all, the, the feedback that you get from com from companies, of course. So within within a few months, uh, all of our MBAs after graduation, all of our, our MBAs g get a job, and and I'm pretty sure if they didn't have, have not been working on their soft skills, they would not have succeeded. They they all get a job. Most of them get a job within all of them get a job, but within three months, the vast majority has a job. Do they get the jobs they want? Most of the time, they they get the jobs they want. Yeah. And they're working in Holland. It's it's it varies a lot because uh, uh, st uh, of course because we have a limited size of, of Dutch students, so so uh, for them it would be natural to work in Holland. But so they work across the globe. Uh, but but we often see that that for instance that that some Asian students that that did the MBA here uh, start and do as a first job after the MBA they have a job in in uh, in, in Holland. Uh, Holland's quite famous for lax laws. Yeah. Is it easy for me to come here, do the MBA, and set up my own brothel or, or drug outlet? <laughs> yeah, so, so Holland is changing as well. So, so the latter part of your, your question, you can I think you can forget. 
uh, but it's it's Shit. it's it's, it's uh, it really tries to uh, to be a very open and tolerant country and really to be very Holland has over the past five to six centuries has always been a very trade trade minded con- uh, country so they really want to um, uh, are very open to high quality people and so this is not just an easy way to get into Holland the MBA I can't just come here tick my MBA and then I can live in this nice liberal joint smoking uh, Dutch countryside no no will I get a good joint in Tilburg <laughs> you, you if you were not going to promote you having having a joint in Til- Tilburg but it's if, if that's if that's you desperately what you want then it's your own uh, your own decision thank you <laughs> um, the the course mentions something which really interested me society yeah uh, the British former Prime Minister who died recently, Margaret yeah. Thatcher, said there's no such thing as society. Yeah. Is there? Uh, well, that she said 30 years ago, and we had 30 years of, of experience in history since then, and I think, the, I would say, it's society stupid. That's what I would say to her. Uh, you call Margaret uh, Thatcher stupid? Uh, at, at that period of time, it, I would say it's, 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 it's society stupid. So, but what, what specifically does the school do with society? Specifically, is it's a school does with society is that it really uh, connects to all sort of future themes of society, which which they inc- which they bring into their lectures, which they learn about, which they so so one of the things is 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 in addition to the school is about. Uh, 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 all kind of governance issues of the future, all kind of uh, how to manage uh, future companies, all kind of issues that play around health and aging, which are which are, are going to affect us, but also business is going to affect. And there we have have built labs, so learning labs with with businesses themselves, which like big companies, which really together we, we set up labs. And there we have we're we're contributing to solving problems, so so making uh, organizing uh, uh, better organizing uh, uh, hospitals, uh, better organizing schools. So so that's that's where we have a lot of expertise, and there we jointly work with together. So our our, mo- our the motto of the, of the university has always been understanding society. And that's really from, from the, 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 the founding father, uh, Marinus Kobbehaag, who said, well, just learning a course or having an, an, an education is not enough. You really have to, in addition to, to, your, to, your, uh, to the courses, you have to connect. You have to connect to what's happening because it, it helps you, it, it helps your learning and it makes you much more effective. Is Unilever employing these uneducated women in the third world? Uh, helping society? Uh, if you do it in the linear labor way, yes it does. Do, do they pay the minimum wage? They, they pay them definitely uh, a, a good salary and they, it's also part of their strategy to really uh, to look at all those, those issues. I, I want to do my MBA and I want to be successful. Yeah. Can I not just give money to charity and say, well that's my society thing yeah. and focus on being a really good financier? Sure. That, that's the thing, the kind of choice that you make for yourself. But I really always believe that, that it's crucial that you set, uh, set the example yourself. And I think every, and everybody has, has to make his own decision, but I really think uh, the uh, TIAS MBA can really be extremely helpful in that. I've decided I want to study in Holland. Yeah. And there are only two Dutch schools in the rankings, yeah. high in the rankings. Yeah. There's you and Rotterdam. Yeah. They have a pop song named yeah. after them. Yeah. So why should I choose you? In terms of, uh, uh, there's a lot of things why, sh- why they should choose us. In terms of uh, uh, being uh, here in, in Brabant, which is the fastest growing area of the Netherlands. So we are only 40 uh, kilometers away from Eindhoven, which is also one of our shareholders. So Eindhoven, uh, Brainpar- uh, Brainport, uh, uh, the University of Technology Eindhoven, Philips, all the ASML, all the big companies, are we are very close to them. Are you so near to Efteling Theme Park? Yes, so the Efteling, also Efteling Theme Park, that's right. And, Efteling, and in fact, the Efteling Theme Park is not only, uh, we not only help them a lot in terms of redefining their strategy, which are extremely successful and extremely, uh, uh, and they make uh, a lot of profit in that. But also the fun thing is that because of the, 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 the example that we set of the Efteling uh, Theme Park, is that a lot of companies are, are going, that have the top 
uh, of a lot of multinationals go to the Efteling theme park to learn about how they, they redefined and, and uh, themselves in terms of the strategy, how they do sales, etc. So there again, we also connect. So what do you, you send groups of businessmen to go on the roller coasters? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then they, they puke all over each other <laughs> and they bond. <laughs> but they, at the end of the day, they bond. And, and that's what counts. Bonding is important. That's bonding is important. But Rotterdam has a port. Uh -huh. There's a huge amount of industrial yeah. um, movement there. Yeah. You're in the middle of the countryside, yeah. prairie lands. Yeah. So you, you can't be as close to business as Rotterdam. We, we are, uh, again, I, I wouldn't say that, that I think there are more businesses there, but again, we are, uh, uh, we are closely connected to Eindhoven area and the fastest growing area, industrial area in the Netherlands is Eindhoven because that's where all the action is happening. So if you look at Brain, uh, the high-tech campus, Brainport, and we are, uh, the good thing is that, that for all for future students of our MBAs, we are increasingly questioned by Brainport, which is the organization close to Eindhoven, which organizes all the exchanges for students with, uh, with our school. They were increasingly getting invited to, to, to really to do come for an exchange as a student to, to Brainport, to see the new companies of the future to really to, to, to stay there for, for a while. So that, that we have an offer. What we have an offer is that we also have locations in, in Utrecht, which is in the middle of the country, close to Amsterdam, uh, where, you are, where there are lots of businesses around. And again, here, there are also some very interesting companies like Desso and Fuji, uh, which are really set the tone. Is there a difference between you and Rotterdam in terms of your culture? Uh, I think this is, this is, in terms of culture, this is, this is a much more, uh, uh, I think the two things are here more pronounced. So on the one hand, we're, we are more content driven and, and on the other hand, we also go for the X factor, the global view, much more, I think, in some than, than, than Rotterdam does. So you have more X factor? I think we have, yeah. You have more women? We have more women in the, in the program. We have about 49% uh, is, is of our program is female. Can you get anything done when there are so many women in the class? Well, that's of course up to you. Can the professors get anything done? They, can, uh, they do a wonderful job, I know. Lots of scholarships to TS yeah. members. Why? Because we, we want to have, really want to have the high quality people and we don't want money to be the, the deal breaker in, 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 in the process. So we really aim for what we, when we when we a few years ago when we really came to the conclusion that this is what what we need for a high class mba we really we also made it part of our uh, so so we really raised the bar so we said we really want to have very good people and that also means that you have sufficient number of scholarships sufficient i, I want a scholarship yeah. what, what should i write on my application well, well first of all send us your letter and and then i'll give you my answer but uh, will, will it help if I come from uh, outside of Europe? It, it sometimes, uh, it sometimes helps, but we're very open, just very open to high quality people. So we don't necessarily aim for having a lot of people from, uh, from a particular region. What do you aim for? What, what would you like the school to be doing in five, ten years time? Uh, so I really think we, we are part of, again, of, of the Netherlands, part of, of, of Europe. We really want to be a top European uh, business school. That means uh, teaching uh, top class uh, education, but very connected and, of course, with a European flavor because we are a European school. And, and is ethics important in that? I see ethics yeah. again and again on your course. Yeah. If you're a very successful school yeah. and you're high in the rankings, that's great. Yeah. Ethically, is there a vision for the school? Uh, how do you mean that? Is there something that you would like to give to society um, in the longer term that the, that the school could actually provide? Uh, well, again, I, I, I gave you some examples that we are uh, that, that we are doing. We, we are working a lot of uh, uh, in special themes like health and aging, and, and, and that we're working with companies, and, and there we can contribute because we really can believe that one particular person can make a difference. So one of the things that we typically do right now is that we help um, uh, several number of African emerging business schools in setting up business schools in Africa. 
And that's something where you can really make a big difference because Africa is the next growth continent of the next 10, 15 years. And there we personally as a school make a big difference. So that, that's an example of, of what we do. So that, that sounds like an interesting project. Yeah. Could I get involved in that when I'm here? Definitely. With an internship? And an internship or, or depending on, on where you come from or for what your background is, definitely. And is there a course on the program that would help me have the skills to, to help set up that business school in Africa? So, so right now that's, that's not definitely uh, in place, but there are elements, the important elements that you need are already in the various other courses. Humphrey, yeah. he's all over your website. Yeah. Does he exist? He definitely exists and it's really just, uh, I would say, try me and, and just fill in the email and you'll get an, uh, uh, you, of course you get an email back, but you can also have, see him on FaceTime, it's, it's a real experience. It's quite a novel idea that I can send off my CV before I apply to the school. Yeah. Um, do you find that gets you good candidates? It gets you good candidates, but also because we can think much longer and much deeper about the person. Because we can really think, why is this person applying? Is he from a particular industry, from a particular uh, company that we know? Uh, uh, and, and of course, if, if somebody applies from a company that we already long know for a long time, we can really connect much better and we can ask uh, uh, other people that we know from the company whether it fits his or her uh, agenda. So we can, we can, well, we can co-think much better than we, do, than we did in the past. Does this bird study on your MBA program? I don't think so. He keeps repeating the same thing. The same so mantra again yeah, and again and again. Yeah, yeah. What can happen to me at TS Nimbus that can't happen to me in another business school? Well, of course, there are, I'm not saying, telling here that what we offer is elements of what we, what we have on offer is not at other business schools because it isn't. It's really, it's part of our, 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 our curriculum, of course, is being taught at other business schools itself. But we really believe because we stand in a long tradition, it's almost 100 years of, of, uh, of Tilburg University, where we really thought, uh, 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 thought of, of doing business or, or, or organizing ourselves in a particular way. And it's really crucial is, on the one hand, you have to have all the, the framework of the solid foundations, because you have to learn the language, you have to learn the language of business. And we're very much able of learning the language of business to you. But on the other hand, you say, just learning a language is not enough. You have to apply it and you can apply it by connecting, by connecting very practical and in, in a very straightforward way to business and to society because there, there's where things are happening. And, and, and that really brought us where we are and it brought us the school, the Tilburg University, uh, uh, a long way, I think, in terms of rankings uh, in, in economics and business research wise, the school is number three in Europe, already not for just this year, but for almost 15 years. And that, that very straightforward application of, on the other hand, learning what, what you need to know, but on the other hand, that's always have to be, uh, that you learn much more by applying, connecting to, to society, is something which makes us different. Does it make a difference that you're on a university campus? It's, it's not just a business school here. Yeah. It's, I think it makes a big difference because uh, uh, we, 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 we're part of, we're independent, but we're, but we're part of the university, of Tilburg University and of uh, Eindhoven University. So we can benefit a lot. So one example I, I'd like to, to give to you is that one of the uh, things that we designed only very recently is in terms of a, a full course on social media and marketing through social media. In the full-time MBA? No, not ready already. I'll just give you an example, but what, we're gonna, what I'm going to say, we did this for businesses and such a useful success for businesses we're now making an open program and we're now thinking of applying it to the MBA as well as an extra elective the social media course because something it has so, so much impact so it gives you an example of, of how we operate so you experiment we experiment yeah definitely and will you experiment on me in what in what sense <laughs> Uh, as an MBA student, am I part of an experiment? No, so, so we only experiment, so what you would say, only, only tested uh, material and tested way of thinking is, is going to be offered to the, uh, to the MBAs. So, uh, on the one hand, so that's why I'm saying, is, is I gave the example where the course on social media is such a huge success for several, for several very large multinational companies, and then we made it into an open program, and we're now thinking, uh, incorporating it to the MBA as well. So it's how to poke people on Facebook. That, that's that's just your, your words. I, th I think differently. 
you think differently. Yeah. You didn't like that motto before. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so uh, well, it's, I, I think differently about it, but I, one thing definitely that we learn is that internet really changes the way we operate. And uh, so, so we very much learned that, that in, in the past you had two weeks to react and, and now it's, it's within half a day that you really have to react as a company in order to be successful with your future clients. And that's something also important insight that we try to share with our uh, MBA students. The faculty, is, is there a member of faculty teaching on the full-time MBA who really inspires you? Uh, th there are many, many uh, people teaching on the, uh, I think, um, people like Philip Kaldries, who is on strategy, uh, Bart Bronnenberg on social media, I think that top notch and they're so extremely inspiring. I, I was wishing that I was one of the MBA students when I, I hear them speak. So uh, definitely two, two names which are, are really great. And the second name is someone that specializes in this social media yeah. that you're teaching. So yeah. is he the same person that is teaching the, the new course? No, 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 he's, well, he's, he's participating in a new course, but he's, he's not full course, he's not doing the full course, but he's, again, he's very active in, in helping us design uh, the new course. Okay. Okay. Thank, I think that's basically, basically my, basically my, do you think I, I mean, I could ask you about Dutch. Yeah. Um, you mentioned a, a language of business. Yeah. Will Dutch make it easier for me? to understand what's happening here. No, so everything is, 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 is in English and I think in generally it's, uh, Netherlands is, is a very easy country for English speaking people to live and to, to uh, get educated. Uh, so I think, in s I would say personally, if you're English speaking people, then the countries where you, where you can easily get around is in, in Sweden and in Denmark and in the Netherlands. These are the kind of countries where it's easy to, because everybody's speaking English you can get around, you don't have to learn the, the, the native language. Uh, of course, it helps uh, if you get to shops or whatever, sometimes, but, but in general, you have, can have a very good life here. But if I want to really be friends with somebody Dutch, uh -huh. shouldn't I learn Dutch? Well, it, it's, it's a matter of respect in, in the long run. So if, you, if you, you can aim for, and there are excellent language uh, centers attached to the university where you can really get an excellent course in Dutch. Okay, that was my Dutch question. Okay. Is there anything else that you'd like to, that, that you, we only skimmed over that you'd like to go in more depth? Yeah, no, no thanks. It's nothing with sustainability or society? No, because we're not, so res being responsible is not about sustainability also. I think it's, it's, it's mainstream business, what, what we're talking about. Okay. It's, it's, we're not saying, we're not, we're not niche players. We really, it's really about business that we, that we teach. And it's business uh, with a purpose, and the purpose is that you really like that. That is that is clever business to connect to future challenges and the grain challenges also. It's not only wise, wise thing to do, but it's also clever. But, but a purpose can be profit. Profit's yeah, profit. a purpose. Sure. But it's uh, that's one of the things that you do. But but also, in so I'm not saying by definition that having a purpose means that you only go for non-profits. So what are you saying? I'm saying that, that, that it's, it's really, uh, that it's the combination that makes, that makes the difference. So the combination of having the, the language of, of business together with uh, uh, having a very open mind of the future challenges that, that lie ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. And if there's anything else you can think of. That's it. You're happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.